Nah. Uh, Emma, come here, baby. Just come sit right by me. Hey, man. That's right. Got your Bible? You got a little Bible? You got your Bible with you? All right. All right. Get Second Peter. I'm going to give y'all the seven supplements. You know, I do need a little table. Uh, go give me the little, just a little, a little, table. A little something, something. A little table. Yeah, a little yeah. table right there. Uh, yeah, they clean the carpet. I can see the stain from here. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take pictures and uh, we're going to get new carpet anyway. So yeah. see if we can get in a pocketbook. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, Erica came by at 930. Excellent job. Sonia, Vicky, Amen. We blessed here. Amen. 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 Pray for Erica. I don't think she's. I think she suffers from migraines. Yeah, she does. Amen. Uh, what else? Good news. Um, Candace is in Florida for London's birthday, enjoying herself. Amen. Amen. We just have a great loving family, just like the prayer said. But we got to maintain it. Amen. Amen. And the way we maintain it is the seven supplements of faith. Second Peter. And we'll go, oh, there you go, got a little Bible. All right. Hey, Amen. It's my little aid here, Emma. Give him a hand, yeah. Hey, Amen, my little aid. All right. Begin at verse one. Chapter Second Peter chapter two. No, 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 no. I don't want that. I want I want Second Peter chapter one. Start at the first verse. Here we go. Now we cooking with grease. You get old, you see your vision just be I ain't studying y'all. All right, read verse chapter one, verse one. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Read. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God. And of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things, mm, things read. that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. How many of y'all believe that? Amen. 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 All things that pertain to what? Glory and virtue. Right. Read. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Through lust. Amen. Until you die, you're going to deal with your lust problem. Yes, we are going to deal with our lust problem. Amen? Amen. Sugar free, you're not lust free. Okay, read. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith. Okay, so, so it starts off with faith, not subtract. Amen. Add to your faith. Yes. Faith is easy to talk about. <laughs> easy to talk about. <laughs> How many of y'all found it easier to have faith for somebody else? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Amen. How many of y'all, amen, uh, uh, swell up with faith when there's no trouble going on? <laughs> uh -huh. See, Erica's down there with a headache. Why don't you just believe God? You know why I can say that? My head ain't hurting. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Now let me have a migraine. I might cut the service short. Amen. Because I, I, I don't have them, so I know it's going to be uh, debilitating. Amen. Yeah. You understand about faith. Somebody told me I had the gift of faith. I told my sister today, my sister's trying to be a principal in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and she wanted me to pray and whatever. I said, no, no, just ask God where he, does he want you to be. All right? I said, wave your giving uh, statement in your life under God's nose. All right? You don't want to be where God doesn't want you to be. Teaching is a dangerous profession nowadays. Amen? It's a dangerous profession. Okay? And I said, but, but, but I have an advantage. I think, I don't know what she made, 80, 90,000, whatever she made. And so they're trying to get her to take a $40,000 cut. She ain't trying to do that. This is crazy. Just politics. I mean, the whole teaching profession is, they're not serious about it. That's why as a parent, you have to be serious about your child. Because they're not serious about that. All right? You got some people asking me, Lee, who shouldn't even be teaching. I don't even like kids. Right? So, I mean, it's just a mess. But anyway, that's what she does. Uh, I said, but I have the advantage because I live by faith. God has to take care of me. Amen. Amen. All I do is get up and tell the truth, and he has to take care of me. And so I told her, I live better now with less members. Say, man, you can't figure it out. Except, and I couldn't live like this or still teach and deal with stuff if I didn't have faith. Faith. Amen. Somebody sent me a message, trust God, and it was for them. You trust God. Okay? No, you trust God. No, no, no. You have to have faith. All right? And, and, and you have to have faith when you hemmed up. Some of the greatest monuments of faith is when I've been hemmed up. You have a decision to make. Either you're going to believe God or you're going to buckle. All right. Okay? These young couples, that's the beauty of a church that believes in young love. They have to have faith in their love and what God has given them instead of statistics. That's right. If they look at statistics, they ain't going to be married. Right. Okay? You have to have faith. What are you bringing to the table? Exactly. Even on your job. Amen? So, so then the faith you have in God, write this down. Seed of Abraham will be tested. Everybody, if you see the Abraham, you got an Isaac, you have to lay down and believe God. Okay? You have an Isaac. That don't even seem right. He waited 25 years and had that morning, get him go sacrifice. And remember the Hebrew word, which better remember, hear am I, send me, hear, uh, what is it? And then I, I hear I, now, you know we ain't waving our hand for no test. <laughs> Remember the brother-in-law I had, ex-brother-in-law? God, send the test. Don't never ask God to send no test. He'll send a quiz and you won't recover. <laughs> send the test. I asked God to send the fire. I didn't ask. I look at him like he's crazy. He lost his mind years ago. I was selling oils on the street corner. Amen. Trying to ask God to send a test. Ain't nobody ask God to send no test. You don't have to ask for it. It's coming anyway. Amen. Amen. And, and that's why, you know, I have, I have problems with a lot of uh, religious books. Amen. Some of them are individuals who didn't really have faith in God. And God had mercy on them. <laughs> and they got confused. Right? But the real faith that you have to have in God, the faith that you have to survive, the faith that you have to have to pass your test, you have to add seven supplements to it. Okay? So you just cannot have faith, Andrew's family. Good looking, Andrew's family. Amen. That's why you expect that little Andrews, because she walked around like that. But you have to have faith. Yeah. You have to add to it. The faith that you have in the Marriage Institute, the faith that you have in your love, you got to add to it. All right, well, now, seven things. Supplements. Those of you, the seven of us that take vitamins, we know about supplements, right? <laughs> supplements. What's the first supplement? Add to your faith virtue. 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 First, write down, it's down about faith. Faith is your assurance and persuasion. Your belief, your assurance, 
and your persuasion. You got to round out your faith. Okay? And out of the seven, write this down, two of them affect the believer's relationship to God. Two of them affect the believer's relationship to God. The other five affect his relationship, uh-oh, to other people. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Two affect your relationship with God. The other five affect your relationship to other people. People will mess with your faith. Am I right? Yes, sir. Amen. See, I remember Bishop Reed telling me, he told me about this girl he poured into like a daughter, just whatever, and just took her from nothing. And he said, ain't no way in the world that girl would turn on him. And she did, lied on him, everything. Just crazy. And so, in another past I had, as they got older, you could see their faith in people ebbing. You know how hard it is to pour in again after somebody had messed over you? Yeah, y'all do. Yeah. Amen. And that's the beauty of uh, what we teach about love. To be able to trust and open up your heart again to somebody is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Because you can lose faith in people. Right. Now, a pastor can't do that because wouldn't nobody ever have a chance. Yeah. I don't hold it. Man, I'm so proud of Ariel and Stefan, but Ariel is not the first person I poured into. Right. Amen. I poured into a bunch of folk. Right. Yeah. Some can't stand me today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about some money. Poured into them. I see them at their worst. Right. Yeah. Huh? Somebody tried to inbox me talking about uh, that their years here was just, I want to reminisce about those are some of the times in my life. When I got through telling them what those years were, I ain't heard back from them. <laughs> and they dying. <laughs> Wrong cat, right? So you have to add to your faith virtue. What is virtue? Brotherly. <laughs> virtue is that patience and brotherly kindness and love. Right? Virtue. Virtue. Holy excellence and moral power. Moral power. Huh. Ain't nobody going to be watching you. Amen? Didn't nobody uh, run down to Boston and watch Davion? Mm, Lexi Poo. Not watch. Virtue. How good are you by yourself? That's rough, ain't it? Moral excellence. Uh, the, you know, we used to tell uh, 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 Ariel about Stefan, which is beautiful. I said, Ariel, here's the beauty of this man reserving himself for you. You could have just popped up on base and you'd have never seen nobody come out of his apartment. Hey, Amen. It's good when you can walk with God with no oversight except heaven. Huh? Isn't that beautiful? No, no oversight. No sneaky, no nothing. Ain't a bunch of amen heifer with bad weaves going to run in here on Saturday talking about, that's my Negro. <laughs> they ain't going to make it in. They don't exist. Amen. amen. Huh? <laughs> Ain't nobody going to be here on Saturday because Ariel done had a double life with a boom box on his shoulder <laughs> outside across the street. Right. Amen. amen. Trying to play some music. Right. Ain't happening. Right? Virtue. Moral excellence. <laughs> it's embarrassing if all of a sudden you're in a newspaper because you've been trying to talk to 15-year-olds. You've been on website, but I said, got a, I got a memory. That's what, that's what she do for a living. She puts them away. She's so good at it. Amen. They give her a reward for it. Moral excellence. Amen. Your porn site. Uh-oh, we talk about porn. It gets quiet. Crickets. Your porn site. You think you're talking to a 20-something year old. You're talking to an 11-year-old. Okay. Let's listen to the air conditioner for a minute. 
Amen. <laughs> you secretly courting somebody in Connecticut when they really live on Camden, but. <laughs> <laughs> I got time to talk about Heimbach. I'm going to switch to Camden. Amen. More excellence. All right. Look at the pastor. The pastor, he goes, he goes to the same place. I go to Paris. Oh, no. He sees a stripper. He gets to hollering at her. She gets on the website. He forgets about the internet. And then Al Gore said he invented the internet. Al Gore. Okay. Anyway, he forgets. She's like, oh, really? He got a big church? Oh, I'm a black. I need some money. Mm. Amen. Write this down. More excellence and virtue will stop you from getting blackmailed. Blackmailed. Somebody on the phone breathing, not giving their full name. Right? She got on the internet, saw he had a big church. Oh, I need some money. A Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, Mr. Always got a, a word, a scripture, or whatever. <laughs> Man, I asked him a simple question. Tamika, uh, uh, some, some actress was at the game. Oh, isn't she a pretty woman? Who, isn't she a pretty, my wife's the most prettiest woman I've seen. All right, well, Mark, excuse me. How come you getting sued? How come you were getting blackmailed for half a million dollars? When they got up to that, he had to get the FBI involved, therefore exposing himself. Wow. Amen. Thank God. Amen. When your faith, you got to have some virtue to it. All that believe in God, but you got a slip, uh, slip sliding away lifestyle, don't fool yourself. Add to your faith virtue. Huh? As beautiful as your wife is, as bangers come in Walmart all the time with no clothes on, bouncing around like two bulldogs in the back. <laughs> you done seen more MMA fights and you ain't left the floor. Amen. <laughs> huh? And they're coming to you talking about, uh, uh, I want him to reach and grab that up there. And they see the muscles and all that. <clears throat> so what? You can come on to a beautiful Korean and keep yeah, and get to keep all your money. Amen. Hey man, keep all your money. That's right, man. Hey man, Quan, uh, when I met Quan at the restaurant, some old some some handkerchief head walked in there, and I had the white jag. Then so he out there talking about he got one. What you got at your age? Your lack of virtue. Is why you got child support payments. You had to poke everything switching. A lot of stuff switching too. Most things are switching until they get spanks down. All right? <laughs> Amen. Huh? Virtue. You can lose the love of your life because you don't have no virtue added to your faith. All right? You want me to move on? Well, I'm not. <laughs> virtue is more excellent and all of us have to fight for virtue talk to me people there's a lot of flesh in the world there's a lot of things in the world that you can partake of now y'all look at me look I'm not going to jump over you'll jump before I jump <laughs> how many of y'all have to fight for virtue your mind is a porn site your mind will put a bookstore out of business all of them in council blood will close down they looked inside of our minds. I ain't going to get stuck on virtue. <laughs> Holy, excellent, more power. Get Philippians 4 and 8 real quick. No one ever had a nervous breakdown thinking about things of virtue. You can't have a nervous breakdown. Philippians 4 and 8 says what? Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest. How many of y'all have ever had to adjust the, your, your thinking pattern? Oh, yeah. No, 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 for real. Man, this, this is real over here. This is not no, this is not a religious experience. If you want some longevity, how many of you have had to adjust your thinking pattern? Yes, sir. How many of you saw yourself getting off? Look how suited up to get the job. That's just, huh? He had to dress the part. Go on, huh? Go on, Echo Man. 
<laughs> she said, see the shoes? <laughs> you got them, Echo? Oh, I'm all uh, Echo. Help him out, girl. Dress your man, girl. Help him out. Huh? Huh. Man, got you all hooked up. Now quit talking about her cooking. She's going to be all right. She got you hooked up. Uh, man, I love watching these kids. If you want to get put out of church, mess with my kids. You're a better chance fornicating. I'll clip you on that because you tell it on yourself. Amen. <laughs> But that gets you put out. All right. I love watching them. Huh? So 4 and 8 says what? Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just. Has anybody ever became a better Christian watching porn? <laughs> no, no. Nah, it's on everybody's phone. Don't act like your phone is immune. <laughs> That's what cracked the cover. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that don't help you. Hey Amen. Ain't no virtue. There's no virtue in in other people's business. Our problems, our mistakes, that don't help you. That don't help none of us. So sometimes you have, to, you, have to, you have to make an adjustment because you feel yourself, and it's not, not, set, not necessarily in sin, but you slip it. Yes. You're wasting time. You're not starting your day right. Exactly. So now I'm going to think like, you know what, because I get, I have a real scheduled mind. <laughs> but I said, you know what, I'm going to read a chapter of the word before I leave the house. That's for me. I don't, I don't care what you do. Especially tomorrow. Tomorrow Thursday. All right? <laughs> care what you do. But that, that was just for me. And I found out my things are better if I read a chapter. Okay? For I lead. All right? I'm trying to make it. You know, I have a greater chance to be lost than all of y'all. Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. Everybody, everybody with a mic don't need a mic. Right. Right. You, I, my favorite line, Quana, was if you die and see a bunch of pastors, you didn't make it. Oh, my God. Damn. Pastor with ticket to a Marvin Gaye concert. You didn't make it. Yeah. Amen. You lost because we have a greater chance to be lost. All right? I was thinking about somebody who really messed himself up. Um, Bishop Reed talks to say that when a pastor makes a mistake, it costs him. Period. Amen. Yeah. So a lot of folk practicing and, and throwing their voice in front of the mirror and buck dancing and <laughs> full of YouTube messages. Better check into that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor is the one that has to make sure virtue exists in the congregation. All right. If the pastor don't have no virtue or strong virtue, the whole church is in trouble. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Y'all want me to get off virtue? No, sir. All right. Well, let's move on. The second one is knowledge. Read one and five. You've got to add to your faith virtue. Read and virtue, knowledge. Write this word down for knowledge. Greek word. It's nosin, G-N-O-S-I-N, nosin. G-N-O-S-I-N. Now, I didn't give you the Greek word for virtue. It's A-R-R-T-E-N, A-R-E-T-E-N, A-R-E-T-E-N. That's the Greek word. So no sin or knowledge, you got to add to your virtue. So what does that tell you? You're always, you're always progressing in holiness. You're supposed to be better. Amen. Everybody get understand that? 
better. You're always progressing. Write this down in your mind. You never graduate in holiness. Amen. Never. That's right. Amen. In holiness, you don't crucify somebody over something you struggled with for 20 years. You just stopped smoking last month. You just stopped. You're changing clothes, trying to put gum and mask it. You can't, you can't mask nicotine. Amen. Huh? You just quit dropping F bombs last Friday. Man, get quiet when I say pointing F bombs, man. It's just, 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 just uh, huh? <laughs> huh? Amen. <laughs> so in holiness, you never, you never graduate. There's always something. See, when you look at, when you compare yourself to other people, you always feel good. Because you're always going to compare yourself to somebody less than you. Huh? Or you can be depressed comparing yourself to somebody who you think is greater than you, not knowing what they struggle with. Right. So the answer is you don't compare yourself to no one. You thank God for the miracle called you and you work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Oh, I wish I was like so and so. Till they fall. Till they mess up. Till they commit suicide. And you found out. Come on now. Amen. Even today. How many of y'all got a problem right now? You know there's somebody that would love to have your problem? Somebody got, some, uh, most of y'all, your problem is money. <laughs> There's somebody in the hospital, ask my nurse, where's my nurse at? With plenty of money, yeah. would love to have your large intestine and small intestine and wish they could swallow some solid food. Yeah. Money is not their problem. Health is their problem. Somebody thank God for good health. Amen. They would take your problem with a multiple. For your help. Wouldn't think that. Would love to get up out of that hospital. Ain't worried about the bill. And you know they're going to keep me in there and run that bill up. Ain't worried about it. Got plenty of money. But bad health. Amen. That's why you'll never compare yourself. Uh -huh. I remember Marcus, I was reading GQ about the man who came up with uh, uh, Animal House. He's the one who wrote it. They was interviewing him, and he said, oh, there it is. He, he misplaced a cashier's check for $200,000. I wouldn't see you till you found it. <laughs> if, if, if it was $200, Bishop, I, I, I'm... Something happened. I won't be a service. On a low gas in the tank day, you might not come out on $20. I know I'll put it here somewhere. Amen. This man in the article, I misplaced, oh, that's where it was. $200,000 cash you check. And wasn't looking for it. So the article, my knee, you know what he wanted? He said, when I write, I ain't, I ain't expected to be famous. Uh, on Facebook, Jessica just put that Kylie Jenner is about to be a billionaire at 20 some years old because of her cosmetics. Yeah. And says so she put on Facebook, I'll be trying to work my daughter Jessica, because her son know a lot of people. You know, I just, just do what I do. But I remember her telling me because that girl confides in her son. And I remember one time she said, that girl said, I hate my life. And I think she's living in uh, that place in California. What's that place in California where? Calabasas. Calab what is it? Calabasas. Calabasas, where everybody has a million dollars. million dollar plus home. You can't get in the neighborhood. She was there. She's 19 years old. Hating her life. Now you see why I be trying to talk to Jessica? Yeah. Don't be starstruck. If that child is suicidal, it, because if, if, if you're unhappy with 50 million, uh, never 100, 200 ain't going to help you. I'm talking to folk who can't wait till Friday, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to make some sense. Can't wait till Friday. 
Huh? So it's a possibility with the spirit of Amalek and depression. Uh, now it's worse. Now you, I'm going to cover a Ford magazine. Now I got, I'm about to be a billionaire at 22. Ain't nothing left in the world for me to buy. Right. What I really want, and then God made you, so only he fit in that parking spot. So she could be depression, uh, depressed. First thing she's going to call is her son, who all of a sudden now my friend, with all this money, been in a million dollar home since she was 19, got money, buy anything she wants, drive, she drive McLaren's, Rolls Royces, whatever, all that stuff is, 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 is stuff you get with your interests. Right. right. <laughs> I don't want to live no more. He's going to call his mama. Now who is mama going to call? She could call on the name of the Lord. Amen. Huh? See, you can't put nothing above the Holy Ghost. You're going to get caught. There's somebody right now, amen, who wants to hold. They, somebody want Vicky to lay hands on. Somebody need Tamika to pray for them right now. Amen. When, when, when Trey John had an episode because giving birth is still a miracle, we rush in there and start praying. Amen. You can't lay no checkbook on that. She just had a baby by some unattractive rapper. And now she got real money. Don't even need him. But you don't know, you don't know she's a human being. With, with 900, a, a billion dollars, you 20 some years old? Ain't nothing left. If it's just things. Right. She might be crying out to God right now. Yeah. Huh? Lord, I know this is supposed to make me happy. There's a reason why Bri Beyonce sitting on the front row, rocking, talking to herself. Four, five hundred million. Her husband put them together. They about to be in huh? but, 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 man, I can't go nowhere. I can't go to the mall. You can go to Sonic all day. Ain't nobody going to bother you. Man, I ain't wait on you. <laughs> you go to Sonic right now. Ain't nobody going to wait on you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know you go to Time Out. Ain't nobody going to wait. Is it still there? I don't go down the street. Is, is Time Out still there? Yeah, it's still there. I don't know. I don't know. They say, may I help you? They say, may I help you now? Yes. I'm super. But the other people, they can't go nowhere. Amen. Somebody thank God for the life he gave you. Today. I want to be the best person I'm supposed to be. That's right. That's knowledge. Knowledge is awareness and intelligent insight. You can't have that living vicariously through other folk. <sighs> Amen. Man, that Jackson is a superstar. That boy hit the ball. That boy, amen. That boy, you know, he could gift it. But he got a dad that can pour into him that w in a way that was important to him. So Jackson has balance. He has hand-eye coordination, which is crazy. He has speed. On top of the fact, he almost made me cry when he was three. Read. Was he two? Two. two. And we was at Old Chicago. And he started reading. And i like, oh, let me get myself together now. Because my mother did. That's how I could read. My mother did me like that. That's why they came and got me out of kindergarten. Because I made naps for folk who can't read. They got all knocked out. I'm wide awake. <laughs> First grade teacher said, come on, man, what? <laughs> Let's go get him. Because my mother taught me how to read. So that's re yeah. that reminded me of that. But with even all that sports, and that would, oh, man, man, Marcus, that would just be, he might decide to be an astronaut. Yeah, I know. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Might just not be an astronaut. Amen. It just might be his decision. I just want to be an astronaut. Yes, sir. I know I'm good at this. Which man, how old is how old are you, Jackson? How old are you? Ten? Which means he could be a millionaire in seven years. Oh, Off baseball. No, no, y'all, y'all. Don't feel sorry for none of those uh, triple A players, because ain't nobody in the stands. <laughs> they good, but they've already made money. They have a contract. 
I know they don't make no money. Ain't nobody understand. They don't need no. They, man, they've been signed for three, four, five million out of high school. Care who show up? That don't affect their paycheck. In seven, in, 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 in seven years, you might decide to be an astronaut. Raphael has talked to people who, some of this one kid played for he said he never even wanted to play basketball. Could think not, thought nothing of it. Just miserable. Raphael's had a chance to talk to people that you would think with the material things they had that they would be happy, and they're not. Uh, one young man who, who, who he changed his name, same one that played ball with Derrick Rose, just changed his name, just finally caught up with him. Father had 19 kids out of wedlock, and when he needed a father's advice, he couldn't find him. And there's people that couldn't guard. He could come off the beach in flip-flops. And there's people in the league who can't hold him that are making 40, 50 million over four years just by sitting on the end of the bench waving a towel. Right. And so the, the order to cope with that, he cuts off the internet, won't watch no basketball or nothing. <laughs> Man, you ought to thank God for your life. Amen. And you ought to thank God no spirit has swept you away with some old crazy thing. Uh, uh, man, you ought to thank God you still hold on to the name of Jesus. Amen. You ought to thank God you ain't left the name of Jesus to be charismatic or whatever. Amen. Charismatic are good people supposed to find Jesus. They ain't supposed to... Uh, once you get the, uh, the revelation of who he is, you can't go back. I'm talking to contenders for the faith. I ain't talking to religious people. Amen. Knowledge. What is it? Awareness. Intelligent insight. That's beautiful. Somebody be madly in love with you because of your knowledge. Your insight. Introspective. The fact that you could review. And the fact that today is a day of review, tomorrow, did I, did I max this day? Did I, did I make this a happy day? Inside the fact of how short life is. I'm life too short to be miserable. Amen. All day, every day. Huh? When I was in the service, like Stephen, I was going through something, man. Remember, I left home when I was 17. So I'm at the mall, just whatever. And this person came by and they couldn't hold their neck. They just was walking like that. And they see they sat next to me and they walked by me, Lana. But I snapped me out so quick. I said, now what am I going through? I don't, even, I don't remember what it was, but it's over. They gotta live with that. What's your point? Knowledge is, I thank God for today. Amen. Got some problems, some things. Amen. Huh? Watch it. Got some things that Satan telling you it's really worse than what it is. Amen. And you, uh, uh, you might even be adjusting to your current situation, which is disobedient. How many know your current thing is temporary? Amen. I ain't making no permanent plans. Well, that's insight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> but what about my family turning on me? What about you got a husband to love you? What about you get things is getting worked out anyway? Right. Oh, they, they'll, they'll come around when you get, become prosperous. <laughs> they need a loan now. They just they they full of pride. <laughs> insight. Okay, you got to add to your virtue some knowledge. Mm -hmm. Husband and wife going through something. Uh, yeah, up in bed talking about what you think about the situation. It look like what? No, 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 no. No. Nah. I know God did not bring us this far to leave us. Right. Honey, this is just a test and we're gonna pass it. Amen. Amen. You know when you chose me, not only did you get favor, but I'm not about flunking tests. Amen. We're gonna pass that. Matter of fact, we're gonna praise God right now. Amen. He didn't bring us this far. He's not that kind of God. Mm. 
Jesus. But they just let me go. If they let you go, knowledge. Huh? Oh, that was just a brook key riff. Yeah. We going to Zarephath. Let's go look at some homes. Right. Huh? But we behind on the one we in right now. That's all the reason why we should go look at another one. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but somebody, that person, they're going to get up because of knowledge. All right? Okay, what's the opposite of that? What is the antithesis of that? No knowledge. Which means you don't, you don't, you can't see your way out of what's going on right now. You stuck. I'd rather have knowledge. I'd rather have some insight. Yes. I'd rather have some awareness. Yes. I'd rather know that God tests all his people. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'd rather have some knowledge. I'd rather say amen. God remember Noah. God remember Rachel. God remember David. He gonna remember me. Amen. He's already remembered me this morning because his loving kindness is better than life. My lips gonna praise him. That's some insight. Keith had insight. That's why he said, I'm going to lead this girl at the prom, but we're going to be married 30 years. <laughs> so he got a shirt on good versus evil. That was evil at one time. But good over K. I, I just like messing with them because it's fun. All right? Let's go back. What else you got to add? Faith, virtue, virtue, knowledge. Uh-oh. Here come a word. Temperance. Temperance. Knowledge, temperance. Add to your knowledge. And what is temperance? It's your lifestyle. It is self control. Yes. Uh oh, over one's temper. I'm praying that the Lord don't come while I'm driving. That's all. Because me and me in essence will run over somebody. Now I don't know her problem. She's from Corinth, Mississippi. Wasn't that many people there? But mine is a long, I have a problem with Subarus, Buicks. And anybody else. Girl, the girl in front of me that's just on the way was trying to put some eyeliner on. Oh, no. In your way. I talk bad about her in my car. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? I see the. <laughs> Pull over, chick. Huh? Man, you don't know where you're going. <laughs> I need help. Are y'all praying for me? <laughs> People in the fast lane going slow. Why? Why? Why are you in the fast lane going slow? Just scoot over. Amen. Okay. I need help. Y'all got to be praying for me. All right. I need self-control. You do too. Quit looking at me like... I'm praying, but it ain't helping. Okay. <laughs> over one's temper, uh-oh, uh-oh, and over all physical appetites. Uh -oh. <laughs> Chips and dips, straight to the hips. <laughs> one lady tried to tell me I first started passing. Uh, you need to pray for some so and so. She she's addicted to to was a seven up or sprite. Get out of my office. Leave me alone. Care about somebody addicted to seven up. Hey man. When your urine turned bright orange, you get a you get a you get a revelation. Huh? When your urine turned orange. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody pours some crush in the in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, good kidney infection to make you repent. See the Lord. Okay. Amen. Amen. Huh? That little Zoe got me. She said, uh, "Are you gonna get your little bowl of fruit?" No, I want pancakes this morning. Lady Ashley, you want fruit? No, pancakes. Now, the pancake came, they about bigger than her head. <laughs> I said, you gonna eat, I, you gonna eat all of it too. She has this thing, she goes, just happy. She took about three bites and pushed it to the side. 
hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> well, that cost me some money. So I said, I need a box. She said, for the garbage. Amen. She need help with her appetites. She can't order pancakes on my watch no more. Amen. Huh? But she ain't by herself. Well, that's pancake. Some of us have ordered some stuff that we couldn't handle. Am I right? Oh, well, now they go, amen, walked out. Physical appetites. Sometimes we want what other people have, but we can't handle that. We can't handle that. Huh? Oh, I like that card. Cause it's called payments. It's called gas. It's called insurance. It's called maintenance. It's called you might want to walk. Amen. I want to live in that neighborhood. What are our taxes at our house? Do you know? No, you don't know. You don't pay the bill. Uh, I think it's 16000 a year. Something like that. I sleep like a baby. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. This was just sitting on 16000 I think it might be worse. I don't know. It's because it's escrow. Yeah. But I ain't walking around there. But, huh, huh, huh. Oh, well, you got it like that? That's called faith. Amen. I knew, I knew they were 16,000. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Come on. Amen. Yes, sir. Hmm. Physical appetite. I want, I want this person's husband or something like that. No, you, you, you can't handle. Your self-esteem might be too low to be with that person. You're too needy, amen. I've been proud long enough to see people who wanted something that somebody else, that they, they didn't need, it blew up in their face. I almost got them killed, all right? Physical appetite, but it's good to know what you want. If you know what you want, that'll make people not like you. Amen. Well, if I were you, but you're not. I wouldn't need it, but you're not. I had an ex-member say, why did you buy that kind of house? We the same age, and I'm trying to pay mine out because I'm not you. Thank you, Lord. Well, and I mean, they weren't being funny. They were like, but, 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 but they were asking, like, how do you, I, I, I need three more payments. And I would, well, my equity is more than what your house worth. I go to the bank, go get that. But my point is, we ain't, don't, don't, don't miss no sleep. <laughs> Thinking why, amen. Well, I wanted this car and I waited. Well, good. I mean, I understand that. But I just bought that new and I had a title. You're the same age. Amen. Huh? I don't have no problem that you limit yourself. Don't have no problem with me. Don't have no problem. Man, you got to learn that. Amen. You can handle what you can handle. Amen. And if you can't handle something, don't even have no worry about it. Yeah. You don't ask for what stuff costs. You ain't paying for it. Right. That ain't going to help you get it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Man, Tamika came to the West of the car in the baddest Louis shoes and purse. Yeah. She did. Black. Yeah. She about stole the whole reception. <laughs> Amen. You know what she can wear that stuff? It don't mean nothing to her. It don't mean nothing to her. She'll wear it, pray for you in a minute. Drop everything she do to pray for you. Huh? You might spend four hours lacing them up. <laughs> and miss half the day. Because you can't handle that. Amen. Some people can handle blessing. There are people that can't handle education. They can't handle blessing. They can't handle nothing. 
Amen. Some people don't mean that much to them. They thank God for, a, yeah, it's a blessing. It's not, but they thank God for a sound mind. Amen. For peace at night. For a good night's sleep. For good health. For a delicious cheeseburger. Oh, there's people that can't taste nothing. Ask the nurse. Amen? Temperance. What's L? I know this is boring. But I'll be out your way. No, sir. All right. What's what's so added temperance? What? Uh oh, here I go again. I'm getting caught. What I need? Temperance, patience. Patience. Oh, you do too. You'll be like, see, yeah. Yeah. The hardest thing in the world, Miles and Bree, is waiting on God. Yes, sir. Ask anybody here, been here. Patience. Waiting on God. Sometimes we want stuff we ain't ready for. Amen. Sometimes we get stuff we want and find it wasn't all that in the first place. I shouldn't have missed no sleep over that. Amen. That job, oh, I hope we get promoted. You didn't know there was some devils on the other end of that, did you? <laughs> huh? Now you're back, amen, in the mail room. You drive by the mail room, you're crying. Because wasn't nobody bothering you. But now you done got more here devils, as Dr. Gunn. Devils! Yeah. She wasn't bothering nobody. No. Man, hey, man, they all collab. These people don't like each other, got together on her. Yeah. Collaborating on her. Huh? Man, they don't know. Underneath that sweet, hey, amen, the middle, man, she been through foster care. She hurt somebody, hey, amen. She think about her childhood, she may go off on somebody. They don't know that. Think she's just a little punching bag. But found out she has strength in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. She wasn't running. Huh? Uh -huh. So patience is waiting until it's your time. We got love in there. Don't be mad. You're going to get a time. Now is the time in your singleness to work on yourself. I mean, young people have messed their life up because they didn't have no man more than you could count because they could not wait on God or chase after something they were never meant to have. Because Quana, they said it's time. At one preacher I'm talking about, it's time for me to run this show. Watch to see if I'm anointed today. <laughs> Would you fall in, 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 into a bucket of oil? <laughs> I, I've been this, I've been that, I've been. <laughs> Needless to say, he's not operating today. And he lost his wife to a judge. She couldn't stay with him. Uh, Too many L's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call his name, he can't sue me. Uh, <laughs> Losses. How you go to court and end up losing your wife? <laughs> That's not funny. All right. But he couldn't wait. He just wanted to pastor. Amen. What I love about these kids, Errol and Stephanie, hey man, she was just getting to go to Berkeley, and now within like 48 hours, that girl gonna be a wife, y'all. Hey amen. It like took her by, love, like what? Thank you. Didn't have to shorten her dress, didn't have to put on the water bra, didn't have to do none of that stuff. <laughs> didn't, 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 just, just. <laughs> Thank you. And love found her. Amen. But a man of God, a nice man. Huh? Ah, oh, but the greater story is his. Look at all the people that have been through him, looked up to him, batted their eyes and all that. He was nice, but he shook them off. Amen. Huh? Then he come to the hood, 2216 military. And I seen a bad 
that 17 year old and he felt like but she's young that don't matter she's bad amen and you have reserved yourself if you would have jumped amen something that you didn't want you'd be stuck with it that's what's wrong with people they didn't have patience and what really came up they were not qualified to pursue oh man that's a that's a rhythm and blues song Ain't nothing worse than meeting your soulmate and you tied down with something that you went after. That's called hell on earth. And you both know it. Your eyes connect. Huh? It's chemistry. You know, like, if I, man, if I would have waited, now you bogged down with something you jumped in bed with. Come on. <laughs> you bog down. Ooh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no patience. Or because you didn't have no patience, you had something good, but you messed it up. With harsh words. Right. Now it's over with. And you don't even man. Because you didn't have no because you didn't review. Lord and pride still goes before what? And a hearty spirit before fall. No patience. I got to have that now. And it got to be my way. Well, guess what? That's why I set all y'all up. You can tell you can't cook. Ask any cook. Huh? He got a 13-year-old. Look at it. Got a cloud. Or we got one cloud against you. A 13-year-old who can make something from scratch. Huh? And mother, mother, ramp, mother, Grace, they tell you, man, you got to put that cake, you got to put the ingredients right, you got to stir it right, it got to be all that, man, all that stuff that goes along with it. You want to slap something together, some eggs, some butter, and, 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 and kill it and fuck. <laughs> Your cake never even stood up. It's all leaning. It ain't never made something that stood up. And they falling apart. Talking about this tender. It ain't tender. It ain't done. Half cooking everything. Amen. Don't they have, I don't know because y'all don't cook. Don't they have timers on turkey? Want to know why people don't want to come over for Thanksgiving? Because you almost killed them last Thanksgiving. <laughs> With that half done dressing. I don't need that. I don't need no pop up, nothing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> half raw everything. No patience. Yeah. What's worse? Raw food or raw life? Because you don't have no patience. God had a blessing for you. God had a blessing for you. But you got in a hurry and had a bad attitude with it. Instead of telling God, I thank you. You know what I need. Amen. You know God. Amen. I don't want nothing to separate me from the love of God. I don't want something to keep me up at night. I don't want something I can't handle. I don't want something that's over my head. I don't want something I can't make happy. Somebody tell God, thank you, amen. God, send me something. Why that girl sitting on that front with the Laker game rocking and talking to herself? Because Satan will never tell you he never tell you where he going to drop you off at. Everybody, need, everybody who need patience, raise their hand. <laughs> Is it unanimous? Well, we got liars here. They, uh, amen. <laughs> don't, don't, most of us, 99.9% of us, we have no patience with other folks, but we want folk to have patience with us. Now, now, come on, come on now. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> See, that's why you come to the church. <laughs> so patience, what do, what do we have to add to our patience? Uh, to uh, patience add godliness. Write this down for patience, though. That is heroic perseverance in serving Christ in spite of opposition. 
heroic perseverance in serving Christ. <laughs> heroic perseverance in serving Christ in spite of opposition. Patience. <laughs> As a school teacher. <laughs> heroic perseverance in serving Christ in spite of opposition. All right. Now, I'm going to mess with you. Guess how you get patience, according to the Bible. The trying of your faith. <laughs> uh, James chapter 1. Ain't that something? <laughs> so you'll never hear nobody talking about, I want, y'all pray that I get some patience. No, no, no. You know what you're asking for. Amen. Huh? Now those men who have wives who can't cook need patience. <laughs> can't clean, can't pay bills. Amen. Can't can't do a whole lot of things. Need patience. Amen. And people act like they're patient until they say I do. And then they run out of patience. Well, I told you. Now, some of y'all who are not habitual liars, I told you I didn't know how to do that. Well, I didn't believe you. I figured you knew how to do that. I, I told you I didn't know how to do that. Well, I bought you a 20, 20, 20 set uh, 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 pot paying everything. I don't know why. <laughs> but I told you. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> James 1 and 3. James, the servant of God. James, the servant of God, read. The Lord Jesus Christ to the 12. Man, I'm going to hurry up. Y'all sweating here, man. Y'all looking like Africans. This is glistening. <laughs> Y'all just the glistening. Hurry up. James 1 and 3, what does it say? Which are scattered abroad. Greetings, my brethren. Count it all joy when ye fall into divers. Temptation. Now, you know, that's that's something that don't nobody do. Mm -hmm. Count it all joy. You didn't come here happy because you was tempted today. Right. Amen. Amen. See, it's so, so much Bible. That's why you like, <laughs> you got to just look at the Bible and go, Lord, help me. Right. All right? Help me not fall apart when I'm tempted. Because Satan says, see, you ain't no good. You ain't saved. Look how you think. <laughs> That's okay. Won't be no church no more. Amen. Amen. Lord, help me. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Amen. I need help. Everybody need help from God. Give him some praise right now. Help me. I need some help. and trying to help these love affairs. I want, I want the because you know every relationship somebody grows up before the other. But somebody gonna pop up and say, no, this ain't gonna separate us. It's a test. Ain't nothing but a test. It's the trying of our faith. See if you if you if you quote a scripture, how can somebody get mad if you quote a scripture? Now don't be trying to quote no scripture when you're wrong though. <laughs> right. And hey, you done kept messing up the mind. It's the trying of your faith. Now, now, now see that's that's a poor application. You don't do that. All right? But if you quote a scripture and it's relevant, say no, we're not gonna fall apart. I'm still the young woman who prayed for I walk down that aisle. Yes. Gonna fall apart. All right. What's going on in our life? We doing this, this, this. See, that's why you can't be A, B, C, D, E, F. You won't make it in over here. Because you go A, B, C, and then go down to Z. All right. And so somebody said, no, it's the trine of our faith. Yeah. Right. And let's throw this in the pot. The mistakes you're going to make. Something like, I know it's going on right now. <laughs> Amen. The mistakes. Mm. Yeah, but you ain't getting cars repoed no more. But 35 years ago, you 
can't compare yourself to somebody been married 40 years. Amen. And sometimes I'll tell you that, like, hold up, hold up. That don't, we already made those mistakes. Am I making sense? It's boring, but I'm making sense. You're making the mistakes. Now, you can't jump up and down on somebody else's mistake and they want yours eased. <laughs> you non-cooking, I, uh, uh, and she come back, you non-income bringing. <laughs> now we got a war. The war of the roses. The war of the canards. Does that make sense? Amen. The way it should be. <laughs> this is crazy. The way it should be is like, oh, Corinne, I know you gave it your best effort. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud of your casserole. <laughs> hey, you, you're doing better. <laughs> I got a suggestion. Let's go out and eat. <laughs> Let's go out and eat. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Yes. The trying of your faith work of patience. All right. Uh, I'll add to it because y'all glistening. Uh, godliness. What's the next one? That means holiness. Yes. That means you don't stand toe to toe and get each other toe. How can I hurt their feelings today more than I did yesterday? <laughs> What evil thing could I say to Bree today? Amen. Let's see. I'm going to cut all his photographs up. He got to know I'm mad. <laughs> I think I'll hide his camera. And he's talking about, what I place my camera? Silence. <laughs> Amen. Come on now, that ain't holiness. Getting each other told. Huh? And then me, you want to get her told, tell her all she ain't, and then you want to jump in bed. Now you, your feelings be hurt if she had a blow up doll say, hit that. Now you done told him all that he not, and now you trying to look for the Marine. <laughs> everybody look up. Don't get spiritual now. Look up. <laughs> now everybody all in the word. <laughs> you ain't that. You ain't that. You done messed up the money again. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You? <laughs> As opposed to, you know what? We gonna make, find something good they do right. But you know, you are excellent whatever. Power to the people. <laughs> I know we losing the house, but you really, you really mowed that lawn. <laughs> Don't take much. <laughs> you did a great job on the lawn. <laughs> All right. So what I said yesterday, you don't get married to go. Anytime you got to sit there and argue with somebody and go back and forth. Amen. 
just back and forth, back and forth. You say something to me, I'm going to say something to you. Huh? You say that, I'm going to say something to you. Just back and forth, back and forth. Both of y'all going to the hospital. And ain't, and ain't nobody coming to pray either. That's what, that's what happens when you just unload. You're talking about, are oh, we well, inviting people over? They don't want to come. No, of course not. Because you can feel the tension. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can go in the house, you can feel, how many of y'all been in the house like, uh uh, I can't stay. I ain't going to stay. You can feel the tension. Yeah. The opposite of that is, you can go in and feel the love. Yeah. You can tell, amen, that some kind words have been said in that house. Amen. There's a lightness. Yeah. Sometimes it's so light, you got to get people to leave. <laughs> They all comfortable. Don't be. So, don't, you don't want your house so light with folk all in your refrigerator. <laughs> Come on now, amen. But there should be godliness, which starts in the morning, right? Amen. Yes. In time, because you know, God can he he can he can cut harsh words down, huh? Yes, he can. And then you have to know when to speak and when to shut up. Okay? You have to know the timing. You have to know. Or you create a situation. And I have it both ways in church. I have women who don't know, don't know when to talk. I have men who don't know when to talk. Okay? It's timing. So then the people that pay attention, the young people, like, okay, it's a tense situation because of outside influence. Then, then it's the touch of it. Who I talked to one of my young wives. They don't say nothing. Just your movements. Okay? Your movements are speak. All right? <laughs> your house ain't supposed to be no hell house. <laughs> then you go to hell, you be like, I've been here. <laughs> it's my second trip. <laughs> Amen. Oh, my Lord. Mm -hmm. Then your kids all nervous. <laughs> your son, 12, ain't potty trained. He's missing. Because <laughs> he's nervous. <laughs> huh? Come on, no, 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 come on, your house is hell. Some of y'all grew up in homes like that. That ain't fun. Harsh words ain't fun. Mama fighting her boyfriend, that ain't fun. When your house get quiet, you, there's a booger man in here. You, you like somebody in. Ain't nobody in there but peace and quiet. <laughs> Boy, you don't even want to come home. Want to stay out of church all day. We come back to church, you still got on what you got on. <laughs> Go on! <laughs> you still got on what you got on. You don't spend tonight. <laughs> Talking about having a shut in. <laughs> Ain't no shut in. <laughs> you guys, trying to spiritualize the fact your house is hell. Man, let me go. Man, not man. I'm cooking now. You sweating and I'm cooking. And your life is hell when you wrong and you try to cover with something but an apology. Gave you a bill to pay. You didn't pay it. And you trying to pray. Open your eyes and face the truth. <laughs> Amen. See, all that stuff. Somebody waiting for you to say something. Hey, you know, hey, psh, whatever, slip. Ain't said nothing. And they want to see spirituals. <laughs> Father, <laughs> help your children. No, help you. <laughs> Can't go home. Huh? Can't pay no bill. Tell me you can't pay no bills. That ain't fun. Huh? 
Irresponsibility is not fun. Write that down. That ain't fun to live with. <laughs> Neither one of y'all open up envelopes. <laughs> Man, somebody not know when to pay some stuff. You have a budget. You know, pay this, boop, 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 boop. Oh, that stuff ain't fun. You should, man, your home should be so happy. <laughs> Come Monday, Sunday night, you be like, I got to go back with those demons. Deal with those demons. Amen. If you had a right relationship, your companion be like, man, I am home now. Amen. I'm just glad to be in. See, my how we got certain sections. And she done cleaned upstairs and got these blankets and stuff. If I just want to mess with I had a blanket laid out, I'd be on the chair. I had a big old house, and we fighting over an area. <laughs> but, but it's just funny. Go back to your area. I ain't used to you being up here. <laughs> now we got Zoe. I'm going to go sit in your chair. Don't get in my chair, little girl. <laughs> she ran inside. I said, all right, I'm just going to lay on you. And I'll be smothered. And she's like, help, help. <laughs> get out of my chair. <laughs> now, you got to you got your second is sticky, the counter is sticky, where you eating popsicles and stuff. <laughs> I ain't in your area. <laughs> But it's all in fun, amen. See, <laughs> when the police are called, that ain't fun no more. <laughs> that ain't fun no more. Y'all got a problem, amen? Huh? When you hanging by my door and I'm ready to go home, that ain't fun no more. Amen. And I got to sit there and watch you like a tennis match. <laughs> Then some of y'all are so busy trying to eat each other's toe, trying to show me which one is right. Then I stand up, which means the meeting's over. Y'all still. <laughs> then I got to go to the door. You're still. Because <laughs> I'm not following you home. And whatever advice I give, you don't follow. I ain't coming by your house. We need to bite this off. No, you don't. Because I'm not coming over your house. Cut that stuff with a knife. I come in here with a gauge. <laughs> Sawed off with the serial number filed off. I know I'm at this. <laughs> There's spirits everywhere on the curtains everywhere. <laughs> Y'all been racing hell a long time. I come in the front door and shoot. Pow! <laughs> no, I'm gonna hit something. <laughs> I'll go over to Bell's house where it's quiet. Sean doing his thing. JC sleep. Trey, eight man. Remember we used to play cards all the time? Man, peaceful over there. Huh? Because of godliness. You can't have two folk raising hell and you both say, talk to me now. Somebody there lost a bow peep sheep. <laughs> Check that nursery rhyme out. Somebody that lost. Raising hell? <laughs> because there's no review. And God got ways to fix that. <laughs> I don't need a hospital visit to review. I can review riding in my Hellcat on the way home. I don't need to stop at no hospital to review nothing. Somebody thank God for today and good health and no headache. Amen. I don't need to. And it's a blessing not to go home to no hateful house. That's right. Godliness should be laughter in there. Talk about each other's toes. <laughs> Talk
Talk about each other's mismatch is in fun. Now, some of y'all play that doesn't, you're not good, so don't, don't start. If you're not quick, see, because some of y'all start stuff and you get offended right away because you're not quick. So you got to have a quick mind, you're going to play that doesn't. You already got to have a comment. Your mind got to be snappy, all right? See, now you slow. You just now getting it out. <laughs> so you get hurt. Don't play the dozen. Some people you don't play the dozen with. Because you all mad and got quiet. <laughs> and you started it. That's what give me my feelings. You started it. And somebody snapped back on you quick and you all in your feelings. <laughs> the remedy to that is don't say nothing. <laughs> Amen. You can't beat a home that you want to go to and it's quiet where you just downshift. You know that's longevity? You know that'll keep you alive? You understand that? All that tension? You know why the bells are blessed? You know why? They were in a tense situation because of economics. Because right. they were helping. His mom was helping them. But his wife was unhappy. She was crying. No, she don't know how to be your mother like a woman and had two kids. I said, man, your wife is unhappy. She's crying. Get her out of that house. But they help, they helping us. Hey, I don't follow nobody. Make sure they do what I tell you to do. You do, you do. You don't, you don't. But he did. And the rest is history. Amen? Huh? And to prove it, how many more kids they have after that? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get my... my you don't let outsiders come in and make your house unhappy. Right. Amen. Amen. You don't have, everybody handles their side of the family. Right. Now ask my wife, she'll tell you, I deal with, but man, if you got a problem with me, that's what Ramada ends for. Ain't no use you being comfortable in there when you had a problem with my style. Ain't no way I'm paying that much money and be tipping in my own house. That's impossible. Told my sister, get that water bottle. Hey, you a little too comfortable. <laughs> she asked me today, when you going to Paris? I changed the subject. <laughs> I didn't ask no company. <laughs> When you go to Paris, uh, hey, about that thing you're talking about. <laughs> that's on my dime. Hey, that's real. I got that real bad. Nobody just invites themselves over my house. Neither family. <laughs> Y'all want to look at me? I'll look at you. <laughs> if I think you have a problem, You can't get in. That's just off a of thought. <laughs> and don't feel bad about it. Amen. I'm not man. It's, uh, I walk around my own house tipping. You opening up stuff. Uh, um, go behind. <laughs> when did you get this? I had it. I had it as long as you've been crazy. <laughs> That's real. First of all, most folk, you want to come home? You women, you know, you want to get that host off of you? Get free? Huh? Get that host off? Amen. Start flopping around. You can't you around your house dressed up like you in Sunday church all day. You got too many folk in there. You a young couple, you might want to play Adam and Eve all day. Might want to role play. Don't have a bunch of people over there getting sleepy. <laughs> get 
getting snacks. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than reaching for some chips and they down. They go, they go leave a little crumbs at the bottom. Talking about I left some. <laughs> One big chip and the rest fragments. <laughs> My grandbaby come over the house and lied and said I ate the popsicles. <laughs> My wife said, who ate the popsicles? Papa. I don't even like popsicles. <laughs> Little liar. <laughs> oh, I was just playing. No, you're a little liar. That's what you were. <laughs> and that is that. I just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, my son's here right now. Can I come over and, and wash the car? Sure. Hit one of mine while you're at it. Then my wife come in. I hit mine too. He do it. That, that, that's too much money to make it a hell house. You feel me? Right. Amen. Bunch of folk coming in when they want to, stopping by when they want to, putting their feet. I don't think nobody, man, I don't think nobody even sat on my couch yet, just like I designed it. <laughs> I got the baby. Don't even walk on the rug. Oh, that's your, look, you, I don't care what you do with your stuff. Your stuff hanging about the edges. Amen. You, you do you. Amen. <laughs> Ain't nobody giving you nothing. You ought to have some rooms like that. Look, don't nobody go in there. You paying for it. Amen. Your child busted in the door anytime time is up. Man, you're just man. You want to know why you ain't got nothing. When you can't go home, your home supposed to be your minor sanctuary. You supposed to worship and have fun and enjoy. Amen. Your home is supposed to keep you out the hospital. It's supposed to be laughter and fun in there. And when it's not, both people ought to be in review. Am I making some sense? Godliness ain't you coming in here <laughs> jumping up and down amen. saying amen when I'm talking about you. Godliness is when you go home. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. And it's peaceful. Amen. And it's laughter. And it's fun. And you text them back and forth, cracking on each other because it's fun. <laughs> Amen. You around your house trying to be a monk. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. Somebody say, praise the Lord. You say, assalamu alaikum. Because now you, you done switched up. No. <laughs> Am I helping somebody? Every head bow. I got stuck on that last one, but y'all sweating and sticking to my seats. Y'all got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for some just basic teaching. Because Courtney's raising those girls in that house. Sarah got girls in her house. Erlene and David got beautiful children who are going to duplicate whatever's going on in that house. Amen. Now somebody came out of a hell house when they grew up. They ain't trying to duplicate it in marriage. The first harsh